Hello friends. I just signed up for Glide. So glideapps.com. Um and I want to show you it. I've never done this before, so we're going to check it out. What Glide is is a no-code app system using AI. And so I signed up within 20 seconds and I'm in. And I figured, hey, if I'm going to be testing this out, what better way than to just document it? So I've no, never done this before. Let's just jump right in. Describe your app and we'll create a basic version. Customer portal to track order status and shipping details. Let's see, what type of app? Let's do a dog walking app with several major features, including maps to local dog parks, a, a, let's see, a profile page, a dog park review page, uh, and a, um, maps, local profile part review, and a share, and a social share option. Cool. Pause and pass. So it's cool. It's building it out in real time as we do this. So check this out. Look at this. Parks, profiles, so you can sign up, I guess, reviews, and share. <laughs> Look at that, man. I mean, it's not exactly what I wanted because the profile, a profile page um, for, the, for the logged in user, a dog park review page, that connects to Google Map Reviews for dog parks. Let's be more specific. And a social share option for sharing um, re reviews for sharing pictures, pictures at the dog park. Let's try that. Timer. So I created a little timer time box there uh, as I was going through this because I time box everything. So time's up. So let's see if it changed it at all. So parks, nope, stayed the same. Reviews, uh, stayed the same. Shares, stayed the stayed the same. So that's it. Let's let's click on this and let's glide. I guess let's see what happens when we do this. Oh, okay. So it goes to my little uh, goes to my. Uh, Oh, wow. Layer edit where you can design the front end of your app in the middle. You're in the middle. You're viewing a preview of what apps will, the users will see. You can add screens, navigation, components, source data. So this is this this UI layout is very familiar to most of you guys. If you've used Adobe Express or any type of online online system. So obviously clicking onto this gives you details of being able to change elements within the application. Uh, this is, I guess, general meta of what the overall uh, view of this page should look like with title. Really cool. Look at all these amazing options and you can publish this thing. Um, I guess these are, yeah, these are the different pages. And I think these are, these icons are uh, it shows kind of like uh, the layout. So this is kind of like a picture layout versus like a roster or list layout view. Let's see. We can see the data. Oh, cool. So we can see the data, data tables, and what data it's collecting, what data it's pushing out. Cool. With simple functionality, I'm sure that we can probably figure out. Let's look at actions. Um Actions are default actions that you will be able to leverage. I guess you can import these. Let's click on Google Maps. So upgrade to make. Oh, so you got upgrade for some of these. I see, I see. Gravatar. So let's click on one that's free. Well, CSV is free. Let's click on that. Ah, uh, okay. So you, user interacts with parks and it generates. So this is the on action uh, function. 
that you can create within your application. I get it. I'm getting it. What happens if we press publish? Let's click on settings again. Okay, settings gives us all these. Okay, cool. And I think that's fine. Um, I think if I press publish, this will publish it. Ah, so it publishes it to a public um, subdomain on the glide. So pause and paths big. Can we just call it pause and paths? Is that possible? Yeah, let's do that. Pause and paths. Publish. Your app will be private to to your users table. Okay. Um, let's go there. Dude, I I mean, I made an app in like less than 10 minutes, guys. So I just wanted to cap this off real quick. Apparently you have to pay to deploy it and, and there's some other features that you'll probably want to add to it. But this is a great system to use just to ideate and even kind of lightly build a UI, you know, a user interface of your experience. And again, one of the things that you guys who have listened to my other talks around AI is to effectively use AI, you have to become better at prompting and learning how to prompt and give contextual and relevant and specific details uh, in your prompts to AI so it can understand what you need to write. But again, these experiments are cheap. They're simple. They're free to sign up. So we're, we're moving even faster, my friends, into a world where you no longer need to know how to code. Now, coding, <laughs> the basics of coding, the fundamentals of coding will help you understand what the system is doing. But uh, we now are in a world where you can truly be a full stack solopreneur and build in your area of expertise, build in the place and the, 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 the area and the market and industry that you know the most about. And you can do everything from creating content to guides, to videos, to services, products, mobile apps, websites. You can, you can fully, fully self-manage your entire work with all of these amazing AI apps and all of these amazing tools that you guys can leverage out there. So we have so many tools at our disposal now. Uh, we really don't have any excuse not to try or not, not to experiment with them. So see you friends. There is no second best. There's no second best crypto asset. It's called Bitcoin, right?